just had March Madness wrap up. It made you think about the fantasy. What was that? My fantasy pick would be that the seller app or the POS would spin off from the block company. That would be my dream. So you're bullish on the seller app itself? I am, yes. I think it's a great business hidden inside, maybe not so great a business. I'm excited to dig into that. No overview for not familiar with the company. What is this sellers, square sellers segment? Okay, so... Square, or Block now, is a company that was founded as an idea to give very, very small businesses, i.e. individuals, the ability to accept payments. And that's really how the company started. And for the first several years that they were around, they grew at like a weed, just exponentially. And it became this point of sale system now that's kind of an all-encompassing system that allows people to do payroll, inventories, and manage their cash flows all in one place. So Think of it like a food truck vendor. Those guys now, those people can now use a point of sale system to do all their transactions. It just makes their life so much easier. And that's really what the Square company was started and founded as was this point of sale system. And that has grown exponentially over the the last 10 years. And it was really the leading driver of success for Block then Square up until recently. I guess up until recently. So if you could summarize maybe... The last six months, 12 months, was there any point in there where you've seen that it's changed or it hasn't looked like it has in the past? Yeah, for the last several years, the sales, they've grown well. So it's kind of comparing 70% to 40% and saying that that's a down <laughs> a down year. But there are a couple of things that are going on. Number one, their main competitor, which is Clover, which is owned by a company called Fiserv, has come from behind when Clover was acquired by Fiserv, they were trailing Square in the small business point of sale system race, if you will. And they have now gone past Square and are accelerating into the future while the Square app is kind of floundering a little bit. And there's also been a switch in the mix. So when the Square app first started, their main focus, like I said, was very, very small businesses, individual people, Uber drivers, uh, food trucks, you know, one or two, five people businesses. And now they're going after much bigger type businesses. So they're starting to try to compete with companies like Fiserv and Ajin out of Netherlands, which are a huge enterprise customer point of sale business. And so now they're trying to play with the big boys and they're struggling and they're they're not doing as well as some of those other companies. So that's why there's been a kind of a stagnation, if you will, of the Square app. Thing else along that path that has contributed to this, is there a way that the company can kind of move forward and maybe get back to what they were good at? Yeah, there's absolutely been a change. There's been several things that have happened. Number one, the introduction to Bitcoin. Uh, Jack Dorsey is a huge proponent of Bitcoin, and that all sits on the cash app side of the business. So Block, the company has two segments. It has the seller app we were just talking about. It also has the cash app. And Bitcoin resides on the cash app. And that has really become the focus of the company. It has been the cash app. If you look at the last quarterly earnings call that they had. For example, they listed the cash app was said 108 times in that call compared to 23 for the seller app and only 12 for Bitcoin. So it's quite obvious if you look over the last two or three earnings calls in particular, you'll see that the company is definitely moving more towards focusing on the cash app. There's also been the largest acquisition the company made, which was Afterpay, which is a buy now pay later company out of Australia. That was solely for the use of Cash App. And there's also been the title acquisition, which was the music business that he bought from Jay-Z, I believe it was. And that is, again, focusing on the Cash App. So all the innovation, all the conversation is all focused on the Cash App. And that is really detracting from continuing to focus on really what's been the breadwinner for the company all along and still has the ability to be a winner in that race where the Cash App is now going to be competing against Venmo, PayPal, and Stripe someday if it ever goes public. So these are all big, big competitors, and there's still a lot of game to play. And then there's the uncertainty of what's going on with Bitcoin. And the other part of that, too, is Jack is very much a maximalist with when it comes to Bitcoin, and he's not allowing other crypto be traded on the cash app. And so th- all those things could lead towards a further, I guess, destruction of the brand. And so I think that 
the square or block company could really, I guess, continue to thrive if they were able to spin off, that would be my fantasy, the seller app and make that a standalone company because I think that would be worth a lot of money because it's going to generate just tons and tons of cash flow. It already does. And that's it's going to be a huge benefit for shareholders. I can guarantee you're not the only person with that idea. I guess to answer the million dollar question then, should people look at the investment today and look at the downsides of the lack of focus and buy a stock like Block today or should they hold off? I would hold off. It's too scary with all the focus and the, the lack of focus on really what has been driving the business. And it's it's yet to be determined whether Cash App will pay off. They're trying to create an ecosystem where everybody can just go to the Cash App and do all of their business. And it's a noble pursuit, but there's some big time competitors they're going to have to play against, i.e. Visa, MasterCard, and American Express to get to that level. And whether they can reach that level and be successful, it's hard to say. Or are they going to be become the next Discover, which is kind of its own ecosystem as well? And it's not as a successful a business as American Express, Visa, or MasterCard. So the jury's still out. And for me, that's too risky.